Welcome to today's episode of 50 Great Short Stories, and today we're doing an E.B. White classic. Now, for those of you who've read Charlotte's Web, you'll know who E.B. White is. E.B. White is an author who goes ahead and writes a lot about animals. Her classic novel, Charlotte's Web, goes ahead and talks about how a spider named Charlotte saves the life of a pig from becoming sausages. Alright, so today is our 29th short story, and it's called The Door, and it's also about an animal, except this animal is unspecified, it just talks about his life, and never about him directly. Also, he, we do look at his points of view during these situations, but those situations have already been passed, and who's our main character, you might be asking before I even start off, it's a rat. What? It's actually a lab rat, like, apparently, it's how it goes ahead. This story is about a rat who goes ahead and jumps over a bunch of cards, and punches of like goes barrels into a bunch of cars just for rewards for food and those kinds of things. Also most of the time he's bo- he's forced to jump. And he calls the and there are a bunch of humans around him who always look him and make him jump above cla- cla- above ca- cards to just go ahead and do it. And eventually he just learned it to do it himself. But once he learned it they changed the whole thing and then he has to relearn it and then he kinda got per- pointless and he died in the meantime however we can already see that this guy's a rat la- la- lab rats lab rats are those rats that we use for experimentation so scientists use for experimenting like guinea pigs except it's lab rat it's a rat so there are brought these rats in these experiments and they've actually been forced to do these things and that actually meant they pretty much died so how does that actually work out to be honest I guess this story goes ahead and goes ahead with Evie White's message in almost all the novels that spot that all animals are good. Okay, sure. Some of them are actually some of them the ones who just want to kill humans. They possibly are not right for existence, at least not existence with humans. But some 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 animals who can live with humans, they actually go ahead and live with people themselves. Like rats are not pests. They're they're actual people, they're actual living beings, and every living being means that every living being should go ahead and have their own chance at life. So all these animal rights seem to work out, and then the death of the rat itself also shows how some of these scientists and some of these humans go too far, and they don't really care about it, and they just go ahead and do the exact same thing to other other animals too, in this case, rats. Experiments are not bad, sure. Sometimes experiments are actually necessary for humans to live. Like when the COVID vaccine, COVID-19 vaccine was first being created, we had to go ahead and test them on rats and then later on monkeys because monkeys are like the most similar, the most similar uh, genetic animal to humans. I mean, we are basically very highly evolved monkeys. So that goes ahead and does all these things too. Next up, we also have to talk about these scientists. Scientists! Oh, good. Also, some scientists, like the math scientists, like from Sonic the Hedgehog, they're actually pretty evil too. However, most of them actually just want the head for humanity to go further into life. Some people are not power hungry, like Doctor Nefario, and some of them are just actually actually just nice, like Doctor Nefario. Doctor Nefario may have created the freeze ray and also helped grew the villain a lot, but then again, he always comes back, comes back and helps out his pals. He just does it because of the fun of it. Also, it's his job. And I'm pretty sure he has nothing else to do. Also, he probably likes his job, too. That's about it. So what I'm going to say is this. Animals have rights. They're living being, all living beings like us. Also, I'm not going to go as far as that vegan teacher did. That, that, was, that, that, was, just, that was just racist against, against YouTubers. But that's it. That's it. So hopefully you guys actually did enjoy this episode. I hope to see you guys soon. And so until next time, if not out, peace. Bye-bye. Wear a helmet.